Hey, what is going on, everybody? I am here to give you my Walking Dead review. Um, but before I get into that, you're probably wondering why I waited so long to give you this video. Because originally, this episode came out on this past Sunday, on March 29th, 2015. The reason why I waited so long was because I had something else I had to watch that night. That I really that was more interesting. Everybody was talking about how The Walking Dead took over Sunday night, but apparently that wasn't the case for me because what I was watching was more important than The Walking Dead. Not gonna lie, I mean this was still a good episode. I'm just saying, if it was so, if it was taken over TV, how come I didn't watch it? And yeah, I'll, I'll get into that. I, I don't need to get into that. Um, so I was originally just gonna watch it the next day. But me and my friend stayed up till 3 in the morning playing Xbox. After we were done watching what we were watching, um, we were like, we weren't tired, so we played Xbox. And um, we played it. I stayed up till 3 in the morning that night. My friend stayed up till 4 in the morning. Um, so it didn't really work out that way. So then I was like, so I was way too tired to watch it. Um... And I wasn't even at my mom's house where the DVR was, so I couldn't do it that way. And then Tuesday, my mom likes the show as well, so she I figured I, and we made a plan to watch it together because she likes she wants to spend quality time, and she feels like this show is the only way we can do that. Um, so um, yeah, the I uh waited. She never showed. Um, so um. Yeah, I uh, had to wait. So then originally we were going to watch the show yesterday, but I was way too tired to watch it. I actually fell asleep yesterday. Um, I had to wake up to watch something else that wasn't The Walking Dead. And then um, I went right back to sleep right afterwards. So, yeah. So I got a chance. Um, technically, we watched it, started watching it on Thursday, I believe. But then um, now it's like, now it's 12, 19 in the morning. So, uh, it's now Friday. Um, it's Friday, um, April 3rd, 2015. So, yeah, that's how it is. Um, but, yeah, now that I've explained why I haven't watched the show, let's review the show. Um, I really liked this episode. There was so much stuff going on in this episode. Because this was the big 90 minute long episode. This was the last episode of the season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to review this episode... And then I'm going to go overall. I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on what I thought of Season 5 of The Walking Dead. Now, it's going to be a little bit tougher to remember this time. Because normally I ha I would be watching it on Netflix. And um, I could just do it that way. And it would be easier for me to remember. But this time I can't do it that way. Because I had to watch I watched the show sort of like everybody else did. I watched it around Thanksgiving time. And then I... And then I started watching it weekly like everybody else does, so I had to, so I have to wait. But I am going to do that this time. Uh, but first, I'm going to review this episode. So we get, so this is The Walking Dead. This is Season 5, Episode 16, the last episode of the season. It's called Conquer. Um, I don't even have it spelled right in my notes, I don't think. But I'm hoping, fully, spell check will fix it when I type, type it in, in the bottom down below. So, uh, the episode kicks off with Mo Morgan Returns. Um, I was happy to see him. I actually was, uh, I wasn't, I actually completely forgot about him, by the way, actually, because, um, I just did. Um, but he's back. He is still looking for Wick. And, um, he's having a fire. And this crazy guy comes up. And he has the W on his head. And he's just kind of having a typical conversation with him. Talking about, oh, we, don't, we don't get to have conversations like this anymore. And talking about how they don't get to watch movies anymore. Um, and then um, he just randomly says, hey, can I uh, give me all your food? Because he was eating something. And he's like, well, I'll give you some of it. But I need it to last me a few days. And he's like, no, give me all your food now. So then uh, he agrees, he's gonna, and he wants to give him all the supplies because he's going to kidnap him. And he has a gun pointing at him, too. Um, and um, Morgan tries to grab his other gun, but 
Um, the guy's like, nope, don't grab your gun, because he, he'll, he'll pretty much threaten to shoot him if he grabs his gun. So then um, Morgan says that you can take all of my supplies, but I'm not going to let you kidnap me. So then he gets attacked by somebody. I don't really know who it was. And he fights him off. He uses like a ninja stick because he has like because I think he's trained a little bit in martial arts and karate. And he beats the crap out of him. He kills him with um, the stick. And um, then he try then a zombie comes and he tries to use the gun that the guy had, but it wasn't loaded. So uh, it was pretty. Uh, so it was pretty sweet. So then I think he killed the zombie with a ninja stick. And then he put the two guys in the back of the trunk, and then he grabs the rabbit. Look, good luck, rabbit. Um, ears. And then it cuts to the theme song. And I thought uh, it was a good way to start it off. I really thought Morgan looked like a badass here. And we know Morgan's not, because before when we saw him, we never really t necessarily saw him talk in season three when Rick went and saw him. Uh, he was nuts. He lot. He was losing his mind. He was crazy. It seems like he's kind of normal now. I I like that. Um. It's cool to see the chains go through him. So then Dale's riding the motorcycle. Him and Aaron um, are probably looking for new rec uh, recruit new people. Um, I thought that I think that's all fine. I thought that was good. They didn't really do anything, but then they do. They're gonna do more later on in the episode. So then Rick wakes up after Mashawn knocked him out. He's all bandaged up now. Um, and Mashawn says uh, that you guys that uh, Di Diana want. So you to stay in here um, after that tantrum you had. And she talks about how, uh, what else she say? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Um, how Carl would visit him and how all these people visited him while he was out. And everybody, and they're going to have this meeting um, deciding whether or not Rick's going to get kicked out of uh, Alexandria. And, um... Abraham, Carol, and Glenn walk in, and um, they talk about how they're possibly going to kick him out, and Rick says, uh, well, when they, I, uh, oh, I, I, over, I, sh I shouldn't have acted like that, I'm sorry, I screwed ev ev everything up for everybody, and um, he says that uh, they have a plan, if they decide to fire at them, then, uh, but, you guys are going to cover me, and they have knives, because technically they're going to be guard in the armory. Um, and Kale lies to say that we don't have any um, guns, but we know that they do, because Rick and Kale and Dale took them. Um, so then Maggie, Diana, and her husband, Diana's husband, are talking about, are discussing about what's going to go down in the meeting with Rick. And Maggie doesn't think that you should kick Rick out of the group because if you kick Rick, Rick out, we'll all go and you pretty much need us because you're going to die without us. And um, Diana's husband seems to want Rick to stay and she ta he talks about how cavemen had to adapt to this environment and this is what we have to pretty much do now. And, she said, and uh, he says well, he'll make sure to bring it up during the meeting. Um, I thought this was good. Um... And uh, I, this meeting this is built up the, uh, throughout the whole episode until the, like about the end because that's when it happens. So uh, I thought it was good stuff. So then Sasha is still going crazy. She's burying zombies in a hole and she just lays down in the hole with the zombies in it. Because she's feeling suicidal obviously because of what happened with Bob and Tyrese. Um, so then Dale and Aaron are going to talk about these people that they're going to recruit. And uh, we find out that they've Aaron's recruited people before, but they had to they had they've had to let have them leave because uh, they weren't ready right enough to take their stuff. So they had them leave. They gave them a day's worth of food and they food and took their guns. And he said some people just can't be trusted. So uh, yeah, that was uh, kind of it. I actually thought it was good stuff that he said. So then. Um, Carol wakes Rick up because he wanted to go back to bed after they had that whole conversation. And Rick's like, why did you lie to Michonne about the guns? And Carol's like, well, she knocked you out. She might be not be on your side. And uh, Rick says, you know, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I might have to kill these people to show that you have to survive. That's how you survive in this world. And he talks about how these people don't know how to survive in this world. They're weak. Um, and Carol says... Uh, 
Sunshine. And then, uh, yeah, that was about it. I thought it was good stuff. Um, I really enjoyed that part of it. So then Dale and uh, Aaron are spying on someone. And um, this is, this is going to be the guy that they're going to recruit. Um, so then Rick um, it says hi to t Tony. And we see that Diane is watching Rick. And she's looking at him like he's crazy. Um, and they can't really stand each other. So then we see this guy is just spying, um, and Glenn and Maggie have a talk, and Maggie talks about the meet and how they're gonna talk, discuss new people. So then uh, this was only all just to set up to see that Glenn saw this guy leave. So then Glenn, Glenn follows this guy. I don't remember what this guy's name is though. Um, he might they might have said his name. I don't know. Um, so then uh, Gabriel takes a walk as well. I hate Gabriel. Oh, he was aw he was terrible. I thought he was annoying in this episode. I understand like why you got to build up a character for him, but I really do not like Gabriel. I hate him. Um, so then um, he says he's gonna take a walk, and the guy's like, "Well, aren't you gonna take a gun?" And Gabriel says, "The only gun I need, the only protection I need, is from God." So then uh, Rick returns home. I guess he wasn't home. And we find out, by the way, that Pete, well, Jesse's boy husband, um, is staying at his own house now. Um, and I think that's all fine and good. So then, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Wick and Carl. So Wick and Carl talk about the meeting. Carl says you don't have to kill these people. You can just talk to them, make them understand. Just say what you said last night, and you can make them understand this time. And Rick says, well, I might have to kill someone just to make sure they get the message. Um, and Carl, he tells Carl he has to stay home for the meeting tonight. I thought this was good stuff. I like the acting between them. So then uh, Dale and Aaron lose this guy. They lost sight of him. So Aaron says, let's just give up. We can't really find... Sometimes if this has happened, we've lost people before. And we can find always find new people. But Dale at first didn't want to get up. But then he talks him into it. And then they go into this place where they're going to get food for these people. And um, they kill a bunch of zombies that were in there. And um, they open and they find a license plate. And Aaron says, you know, I hate giving up too, but sometimes you have to do it. So then they open the back of the uh, crates to get the food. And a crap, and I mean a crap load of zombies were in there. And one of them had the W on him, on his head, like the, like normal. I thought this was uh, good stuff. And uh, Dale, they just start killing some of them. Dale uses like a, like a chain to kill one of them. I thought that was good. And then they get into a car. And one of the zombie's head's about to get in the car. And Aaron slams the, slams it, slams the zombie's head into the door. So then, uh, the, so now they're trapped. They can't get in. Uh, they can't get, well, they can't get out. And they can't stop the car because one, I don't think they have the keys. And two, I don't think they can hardwire it. I mean, I bet they could, but maybe it's not that type of car. I'm not really sure. Alright, so what's the next thing that happened? So then Kale visits Pete because he's going to check on Taylor. And Pete's all cut, bandaged up as well, his face. And uh, she says that she could just kill Pete right now. And everyone would just think that you tried to abuse me. Um, so come at me, I dare you. So then uh, he refuses, and Kale gives him some food and says, Don't get my plate dirty. So then he just slams it on the ground, and then he says, This is not my house. It's not my house. And he starts punching, breaking stuff. I thought this was actually good stuff. So then so then Glenn follows the guy that snuck out, and Glenn sees a bunch of zombies that are dead, and then the guy shoots him in the shoulder. I thought that was awesome. I knew Glenn wasn't dead because he only got shot in the shoulder, but... I thought it was awesome stuff. It was a trap. I, I didn't even. I, it was just like whoa. I had to. Re I rewinded it and watched it. I think twice. Um. So then Rick goes to visit Jesse to check up on her, and then we see that she has a black eye from when Rick and Pete were getting into it, and uh, Rick talks about how you, you guys have to see the way the apocalypse is, and it doesn't matter and. After the way Rick acted, Jesse doesn't really feel comfortable talking to Rick, so then he leaves. And then Jesse says, don't turn around. You're right. So she, so she agrees with the way he's running things. 
And then you see Pete watching from the window, and I'm like, okay, this is going to get interesting. But then I was thinking, they didn't really help the situation, because he put, they put Pete close enough where he could just walk over there, pretty much, and if he's pissed about something, he could just beat the crap out of Jesse. I didn't really get that. Um, they did not help the situation at all. Um, so then Gabriel's in the woods walking, he... Tries to have a zombie bite him so he can kill himself, but then he decides he doesn't want to, and he kills it. I don't care about Gabriel, so that's why, to be honest with you, I wish he had killed himself, because Gabriel just flat out sucks. Um, so then Abraham visits Taylor, because he's going to, just to check on her, and we see that Eugene's there, and Taylor, and uh, Rosita's like, oh, it's okay, he's sleeping. Because obviously they're having an awkward moment after Abraham beat the crap out of him. Um, so then he sits down and Rosita drops something on purpose, but then she just goes, whoops, to wake Eugene up, and, um, Eugene apologizes for lying, says that, uh, you're the one that got us here because I used my, because of my lie, um, and you were motivated enough, and I'm sorry for apologize for lying to you about knowing about the cure, and Abraham apologizes for almost killing him. Um, and Eugene says it's not necessary. So they have a feel-good, nice moment. Um, the only thing I didn't like... Well, I know it's part of Eugene's character, but he just makes everything so damn complicated about what he's saying because he's so smoked. He makes an apology complicated. You don't understand a word out of the guy's mouth. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that because it's his character, but damn... He's just so smart. Uh, so then Gabriel comes back to the town and the guy. And the, he, he closed. I'm just the gate. But he doesn't close it all the way. So obviously he's going to let zombies are going to get in. I knew he was going to do this. He's such a dumb ass. Like I just don't get why he does these things. Um, ugh, Gabriel. I just hate Gabriel. I can't stand him. He's always depressed. Um. I understand why he's depressed, but even, like, before then, he always looks like he's depressed, because I was watching him on The Talking Dead, and just his expressions, he always looks like he's depressed. Um, and, um, what else, um, his acting's bad, when he was fake crying, he was bad. Now, I know it's not easy to fake cry, but Wick, after he, Laurie died, he did a better fake cry than she, than he did, and Wick is... And Rick isn't even isn't even from this country. He's from England, and um, you're telling me he can't do do a better cry? It's just I don't know. Gabriel, I just he's better than Andrea, but not by much. Um. So then the guy that attacked Glenn, um, is walking in the woods. He kills a zombie, and then Glenn comes over, beats the crap out of him, but Glenn's obviously injured from when he got shot in the shoulder, so the guy gets the better of him. And then you see zombies start to pile on Glenn, and um, it, you can go, it goes to commercial, so you technically you don't know whether or not um, Glenn survived this or not. You're going to find out later on, though, if you haven't seen this episode. So then Rick's at home. He tells Michonne about the guns, so... Um, him, Kale, him, Daryl, and K him, Daryl, and Kale took him, and um, then um, he says that they were afraid that Michonne would try to talk him out of it, try to um, talk us out of it. But Michonne says, "No, um, I wouldn't talk you out of it. I understand why you did it." And uh, Rick says that one that you you're with these people because you knocked me out, and Michonne says that he did that for you. And, um, Rick says, she tells Rick not to start trouble. Um, and, uh, you know, just, uh, if something goes bad, we can take this place, but don't let you be the reason for it. So then he goes to give her the gun, but then he tells, uh, Rick to, she tells Rick to keep it. So then we get the meeting. Um, Rick, well, th first Rick realizes that the gate's open, so he's looking for, around for zombies to see if any of them got in. So he wasn't able to make it to the meeting. So they'd start the meeting without him. They're discussing Rick. Um, and they talk about pretty much how he's not... 
He's not. Ne he's a good guy. He always has kept us safe. Um, and uh, everybody, he's been through tough shit. He's lost people. Um, him and his father, Maggie talks about how him and his father were always clo close. Um, and Rex, as he's doing this, is killing zombies. One of them tackles him to the ground and he chokes it to death. So blood starts spurting, spurting out of it. Um, and uh, Glenn gets his revenge. He beats the crap out of this guy. He's going to kill him, but then he doesn't bring himself to pull the trigger. One thing I forgot to mention is, because uh, I don't think I wrote this in my notes. I forget. I don't know why I didn't. Um, so, um, Daryl and Aaron are ha talking in the car about this place, and Aaron talks about how, uh, the reason why, uh, how he, Daryl tried to, likes to be out of the, out of the town because he doesn't like the, uh, open country, and now he's just trapped inside the, uh, place. And uh, Aaron talks about how he is there for the group. You do save lives. He talked about the time how when the storm happened, he brought him to the bone. And that led him to want to bring his group to uh, Alexandria, which is very true. Well, which is kind of cool. because So technically they're saying that Dale is the reason why he's there. And um, he says that Dale is right. We should not have given up and look trying to find that guy. Um so then Dale has a plan that they're going to lure, lure these guys away. And um, earlier in the note, we had seen Dale found a note tells him, and to tell the people to, to tell them to leave because um, this is all a trap where bad people, bad people are going to come. Um, so then Dale, but then, so remember that though. So then Dale, by the way, makes a plan that them, he's just going to lure the zombies away while uh, Aaron escapes. But then they say they're going to do it together. But then Morgan comes up and they all help ki kill him, and um, they offer him to come to Alexandria. But it, but Morgan um, shows them the map um, that says that Rick's going to Washington D.C. And uh, obviously we know this is going. Daryl told him that uh, Rick's in Alexandria and all that. So I thought that was good. So then um, we get the meeting though. Um, I already talked about this stuff. So then, um, what happens is Rick shows up with a zombie and, um, tells them that this is how it has to be. You may, you got, the gate was open. I didn't let the zombie in. But you guys may think that this is all safe, but it really isn't. Actually, I want to kind of cut because I forgot one thing. Um, Sasha goes to visit Gabriel because she wants to commit suicide. And obviously, since he's a priest, he wants his, she wants his help. But Gabriel makes the situation work by saying um, that um, you're not you're, you're made to die. Uh, more, Bob and uh, Tyrese want were not made fit for this world. Just trashes them. So then they get into a fight, and Sasha's about to sue him. And Maggie left the meeting to go find them, and uh, they stop him. And then Rick has a speech about how uh, we all have to uh, fend for ourselves. We can't trust people. Pretty much the same speech he's been saying. And he says I'm, that he's not going to apologize for what he said last night. He's apologizing, though, for not saying it sooner. Um, so then um, everybody seems like they're going to be with him. And then Pete cop pops up and says, you're not made to be here. You shouldn't be here. And then uh, Diana's husband's trying to hold him back. And then, he, and then uh, Pete slices his throat. So obviously he dies. And Diana tells him to kill him. So Rick does it. And then we see Morgan and Rick finally come face to face. Morgan comes up and says Rick. And Rick's all covered in blood and he has a face to face with him. And then that's how the episode ended. And the season ended. And I thought it was great stuff. Um, the thing I liked about this is before when they came together, Morgan was the one that was losing his mind. Morgan was the one that was crazy. And yeah, Rick may have been a little bit crazy because he just lost his wife. But he wasn't as crazy as Morgan. He was still somewhat human. Now Rick's just completely lost it. And Morgan seems like he's kind of... Not necessarily out of his mind. But um, he's, he seems like he's getting back into reality. So I liked this. It was good. And now it's good because now Morgan's going to finally hopefully be a regular character in the show. Because I really do like Morgan's character. I don't know why they don't keep him in the show. Um, and I'm really happy that they're going to keep him in, in the show. Um, so that was the end of the episode. So now I gotta give my, uh, I'm gonna give my thoughts 
about the whole season itself. Um, I gotta try to think back because it was. I started watching this season in November and around Thanksgiving time, and now it's over in March. Well, now it's April, but it was over in March. So that it started though, in, I think October and ended in uh, March. Um, so yeah, that there was that. So, um, um, they had this stuff with, uh, Terminus, and then they had that big fight there, um, Tyrese met the guy, I liked that, um, when he, the guy, when the guy was gonna kill Judith, and we find out Tyrese ended up not killing him, I liked that, Rick, we, and Carl got to reunite with Judith, that was cool, um, I really did like that. Um, what else did I like in the season? I liked the, uh, hospital stuff. I thought that kind of dragged on a little bit. I think they could have, uh, dumbed that down, you know, uh, but I thought that was good stuff. Um, but the thing I didn't like about it was it felt like it dragged on a little too long in the episode when it showed Beth in it. I actually thought, because I, that was a time, the time my sister showed me the Chicago Fire PD show, the police version of it. So I thought I was actually watching that show. Cause the, so, yeah, we got to meet Noah, which was kind of cool because I had seen him on Disney Channel um, in the uh, Let It Shine movie, and I thought it was cool that we saw him here. I really do like Noah. I thought he was a good character. Um, fortunately, he didn't last as a character because he ended up dying. I think he died a couple of episodes ago, and I thought uh, that was good stuff right there. Um, the hospital stuff was good. Beth dying, to be honest with you. I kind of was happy Beth died because I wasn't a huge Beth fan. It did s sort of suck, but it made for good stories because then we got Maggie who sort of lost it. Um, just kind of accepted the fact that this is the world that they were in. I liked that. Um, what else did I like? I liked Tyrese's death and the whole episode because we got the return of the governor, Philip, in this episode. We had uh, Beth and we got to see him like hallucinate. Um, when he got bit, and then he ended up dying, so I thought that was cool. Um, what else did I like? The introduction of Aaron, and then the whole thing with uh, Alexandria that I just talked about. I thought that was good stuff. The stuff with Wick and um, Jesse has been decent. Um, I And uh, I think it's kind of awkward that they're having an abusive rel relationship kind of storyline in a Walking Dead show. I think that's kind of weird. Um, I actually did see something on Facebook that, um, when Eddie would hit Carol and, uh, Shane reacted the same way, um, that's exactly how Rick acted, and that's actually kind of true, um, except Rick took a little bit too long to react. I loved that stuff, I loved it when Carol saw Sam, and he was, she was taking the guns, and he was talking about how they were gonna, like, tie him to the tree, and have them eat the zombies, and, uh, no one will hear you, um, and you're gonna get lots of cookies, that was awesome stuff, I thought that was fucking phenomenal, um, just amazing stuff, I really enjoyed Kale this season, I'm not usually a huge Kale fan, but after this season, she was full badass mode in this season, I would say she was more badass though, in the mid, ha um, way through it, um, not really, uh, all the way, uh, what else did I like in this season? There was a lot of good stuff in this season, actually. A lot of the, a lot of action. You had a lot of stuff with the uh, terminus, um, the cannibalism. I thought was a little bit weird, but then, but then again, it's a Walking Dead show. I guess that you can expect that because I remember those guys from Terminus ended up eating Bob's leg. I thought that was hilarious, and actually, we got the death of Bob, which I thought kind of sucked because I liked Bob's character. But I mean, it made sense. How the hell was Bob going to survive with one leg? Um, Especially when they had nowhere to go. Now let's talk about this. Since I talked about good things. I want to talk about bad things. I want to talk about things I didn't like. I already talked about it. I did th say I thought it was a little bit awkward. They have a relationship abusive angle. Um, in a walking dead world. I think that's kind of awkward. I think that's kind of weird. Um, I do think it's okay. Um, but it's just so weird. I did not. I do not like the introduction of Gabriel. I think he's a huge pussy. And he's a fucking idiot. Um, if it technically wasn't for him, they'd still be living in the church. And um, he just made the situation worse with all the zombies by leaving the gate open. 
Um, he, when he went and told um, Diana that Rick's group was terrible people because of the things that they have done. Um, you got to understand the certain things that you have to do in this world. So he's a fucking idiot. I do not like Gabriel. And it's a shame that he's going to be in the next season. I was hoping that Sasha was going to kill him in this season. But that didn't fucking happen. Um, what else did I not like in this season? Like I said, the stuff with the hospital, the only lead, I mean, it was good, but I think it dragged out a little bit too long. I think they could have uh, dumbed it down a little bit. I understand uh, you had to end it off with the cliffhanger. Um, maybe they could, uh, I, don't, I can't really think of it. That It's tough to think because this show is so good that you, it's hard to think of negative things. Um, some of the people from um, Alexandria I don't really like. Um, I think they'll kind of suck, but that's about it. Um, I want to talk about those bad people that did end up showing up at the food place and, uh, that was all cool. They ended up killing someone. So I don't really know if we're going to see a lot of them from the next season or what. And I actually am happy about one thing that ended up happening this season. I am so happy that they did not end up killing Dale off because on Facebook they said this was going to be bad news for Dale. Um, apparently that was a troll. Because if because Dale is still alive, um, he ended up surviving. So I am so happy Dale ended up is still alive. He's going to be in the next season because I said Dale. Everybody likes Dale. They can relate to Dale. I ask people all the time, who is your favorite character in The Walking Dead? They always say Dale. So I have a feeling it would be a bad move for ratings because I don't think I have a feeling a lot of people would quit watching the show if Dale wasn't in it. So I'm happy that they did not kill Dale off. Um, what else did I, but, um, that's all I really have to say. If it was probably something I didn't like in this season, you can definitely, or did like, I can't really think right now, but you can check out my reviews in the playlist. I have season five, episode one, all the way up to now. I have the first episode actually all the way up to now. And that's pretty much it guys. So I have, that's pretty much it. So now, um, now that I'm done doing the walking dead for a little bit, I don't think it's going to be back. I have no clue when The Walking Dead will be back, not going to lie. Um, I know it's not going to be like till September, October, not in the fall. So uh, in the meantime, um, now that The Walking Dead is currently going to be missing an action on this channel because I won't have anything really to talk about, I am going to be playing this game. I'm going to uh, do Let's Plays for this game. It's called The Walking Dead. Um, and I'm going to play this game. And uh, see how it is. I actually am looking forward to playing this game. Uh, I like. I can't wait. Like um, this game looks like it's gonna be good. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna be doing. Um, and uh, if there's any uh, Walking Dead videos, I guess you want me to do, I will do it. Um, but other than that, there's really you want the next time. The only Walking Dead you are gonna be be getting from now to the fall is gonna be on this game. Um, maybe I'll do like a predictions of what would happen in season six, but it's so hard to tell because they didn't really tell us anything that's really going to happen. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. I will be, if you want to, you can click right here to subscribe and check out the walking dead videos on this channel. And, um, I'll be back in sometime in, um, the fall to give you a review of the walking dead, but I'm going to come back sometime, um, to give you a play, a let's play of that game. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. See you later.